Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing all six of the uh, big six conferences in college basketball, the conference tournaments right now with brand new guests to SBR Videos, Rob and the Dream from Sports Betters TV. Right now we're going to cover the Big Ten. Interesting conference. Thanks for being back with us, guys. Oh, thank you. Always a pleasure. The Big Ten. This is a tricky one because Wisconsin is the odds-on favor, right? Minus 115, and that's understandable why that would be. They're so fundamentally sound. They're so strong, so scary to bet against, but they're not unbeatable, right? They actually have been overvalued uh, through the heart of the regular season. They're 5-11-1 against spread over their uh, last 17 games. And, you know, they lost to Maryland, so they're awesome, they're excellent, but they're not unbeatable. Minus 115, though, it's not a huge favorite line. The dream, this is a tough conference. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. It's a tough conference, but Wisconsin is definitely the clear-cut standout in this division as they've got, you know, they've got – you. When they shoot, they honestly are hands up, hands down above the rest of the pack. Sure. When they shoot well, they're getting a good play out of all their all their guys. Uh, I really like what Wisconsin does, and you know, Mar Maryland did beat them, but outside of Maryland, Wisconsin had pretty much laid the smackdown on the rest sure. of this conference. Rob, I mean, you know, one loss, you don't want to uh, write off a team, especially not at just minus one fifteen. I mean, you know, laying one fifteen to win a hundred. That's not a huge layout, and uh, and you're winning a decent amount of money there. Do you think Wisconsin at minus 115 uh, is the is the play here in terms of value? You know, I think so. I think you can get them involved, but I think you need to back it up with a couple of other underdogs. Um, couple. I okay. I really really like this Michigan State team. Okay. Uh, Sparty, if they're hitting their shots and they're they're draining threes, they are a big problem, and they're eight to one right now. So. I would probably back that up and feel more comfortable that with them versus a Maryland, Ohio State, something like that. Yeah, well, I'm seeing plus 700, though, at five dimes, seven to one. If you shop around, I'm sure you can get eight to one. And they did, uh, you know, close the year at six and two against the spread over their last eight. And Michigan State, one of those classic, classic teams that, that tends to outperform in the postseason, the dream. Uh, what do you think about Michigan State at seven to one as opposed to Wisconsin minus 115? I'm not sold on Michigan State. I don't like the inconsistency. The only mm -hmm. one team that I would give a small shot to would be Maryland. Mm -hmm. uh, as Maryland has an outstanding point guard, and point guards seem to rule in NCAA basketball. Maryland is the only team that I would slightly give a chance to, and it's not even hardly a chance at all. One thing I like about Maryland is they were one of these teams that uh, they were kind of bad against the spread when they were too big of a favorite against teams they outclassed, but against the elite teams they tended to play up to their competition as evidenced by the, uh, the win over Wisconsin. So this is very tough. I'm not exactly sure what my pick would be. I'm actually going to go third. Let's uh, start with uh, with you, The Dream. What's your official picks for the Big Ten Conference Championship? I'm going to go Wisconsin and in a small lean on Maryland as well. All right, Wisconsin minus 115, Maryland plus 1,000 right now at five dimes. Again, if you shop around, you can get better lines than these. And uh, Rob, Big Ten Conference Championship, what do you like? I like Wisconsin, and I'm going to sprinkle some money on Sparty, Michigan State. I'm also going to look at somebody's lower underdogs as well. Really? Um, I think Purdue can be yes, a spoiler yes. there. Um, also, and you're going to call me crazy, but this Michigan team, if they get hot at the right time and, and drain their shots, you know, at 85 to 1, I, I don't know what you're seeing over there, but I, I'm seeing 85 to 1 over here. So it might be something to uh, lay a few dollars on. Yeah, Michigan I is. I do have to call them crazy, LP. I can't. Go for I, it. Go I, for I, it. We're I, getting I, great I, TV here I, right I, now. Go, 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 go. I, I, I got Got to call him crazy on that. I, I don't know where he's getting Michigan from. I don't know if he knows, you know, Jalen Rose and the Fab Five are coming back. I don't know what he's seen with Michigan, but uh, I think he's wrong. Uh, look, I'll admit, I didn't say it because, I don't know, I just, I'm kind of like a polite guy, but when I heard him say it, I thought the exact same thing. I thought this guy's I almost crazy. fell out my chair. <laughs> Michigan's horrible. I wouldn't even bet him uh, straight up against, uh, I don't know, uh, no, Nebraska I would. I don't know. All right, so, Rob, what are your, let's, get, let's pin you down for some official picks on the, on the Big Ten Conference Championship. What would you bet here? Let's go Wisconsin and Michigan State. Wisconsin minus 115 and Michigan State plus 700. And, I, God, I don't know. This is kind of a scary conference. I will go with Wisconsin minus 115, backed up by nothing. This is tough, though. Purdue, yes, 20-8 and eight against the spread on the year. Would not be at all surprised if they stole it. Thanks, guys.